Hey, greetings, people. Welcome back to Drew's office. Our mission, of course, is to do some more exercise, shred some kilos, and before you know it, we'll be dancing on the beach. Excel, can you please help us out? We're going to enter our weight in here. We're going to use conditional formatting to highlight our weekly progress and get Excel to produce a lovely little chart for us. Let's enter the data for the first 12 weeks. We just need to type one in this box here. Then we can use our autofill cursor and drag down. Excel will create a pattern for us. If the pattern is not what we want, we can have a look at the autofill options, which is this tiny little box here. And what we'd like is a series of consecutive numbers. Thank you very much. And let's suppose our weight at the beginning was 97.4 kilograms. And our first formula, the result should be equal to zero. So let's go for equals E2 minus itself. Week two, we ate muesli, we had low fat yogurt, and would you believe it, we're down to 97 kilograms, woohoo. Our formula for week two is this week's weight minus last week's weight. And then week three, we managed to get the bicycle out of the shed, we pumped up the tires, and goodness me, we're down to 95 kilograms. This is amazing. Autofill our formula, nice. Week four was chocolate and pizza and all that stuff. Mm, why has my weight gone up? And if you need to know more about Excel, you can check out my channel for other Microsoft Office videos. Conditional formatting on column F. If our weight is going down, we want to highlight it in green, which coincidentally is the same color as celery. Mm. If our weight is going in the wrong direction, we want to highlight it in red, maybe like a beetroots kind of color. To perform our conditional formatting, we need to select the data first. We want to highlight cell rules and then let's choose less than. If it's less than zero, highlight it in green. Thank you very much, Excel. And then we need another conditional format to highlight the weeks in red which is the same week when we had the gourmet burger with the chunky chips and the tartar sauce. It looks like we've managed to lose a few kilos over the weeks. This is good, my friends. But what would be even better if we could visualize our efforts in a chart? And we're gonna have a line chart. Thank you very much, Excel. And as we consume more celery and low fat hummus, we might end up changing some of these values. Our chart is dynamic, guys. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling hungry. 
I'm off to prepare a meal. Until the next time, boom shakala.